Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I'm gonna show how to make this animation with using After Effects. Let's get started. So guys, welcome back and first one, select this purple 2 background and layer 4, layer 3, 2, 1 and let's see. Okay, right mouse, pre-compass, add name, product 1. Click OK. And select this purple background, product 3, right mouse, pre-compass, add name, product 2. Click OK. And select this pink background 2, layer 4, 3, 2, 1. Right mouse, again pre-compass, add name, product 3. Click OK. And select pink background. Product 2 and right mouse pre compass add name product 4. Click OK and select white background and layer 4, 3, 2, 1. Right mouse pre compass add name product 5. Click OK and finally select this product 1 and product 1 background. Right mouse pre compass add name product 6. Click OK. So in this time open product 1 and go to this icon region of interest and select region like this go to composition and crop come to region of interest okay so select this purple background 2 press s open scale click this icon and go to one second let's create new scale two frame go to back and change scale 0 Select two frames, make easy or click F9. And select this layer 4, go to pen behind, move the anchor point left, click tool, or let's use plugin for these anchor points. Go to window, open animation comes 3 anchor point mover, select this and these layers, and click this icon for move the anchor point left. Also select this, move to left. So select this layer 4 and press S, also layer 3 and layer 2. Open scales and create scale two frames. Go to back and click these icons. Change scales 0. And say two frames make easy. Go to graph editor, select this graph, make smooth animation. Okay, back to two frames. And let's go to here, select this purple background too. Go to graph editor and make smooth graph. Back to two frames and select these layers. Let's move to right. Okay, that's good. Select the layer one and go to first second. Press S, click this second, make scale two frame, change scale zero. Go to one second, change 100. Make two frames easy. Go to graph editor and make two frames like this. Back to two frames and move to right this layer. So let's close conversation and let's see here. Okay, let's put down. So select this product two and let's select region of interest like this and go to conversation, crop come to region of interest. And select this product three. Let's go to window, open animation composite three. If you have not this plugin, I will add link on the selection below you can use. And select product 3, open starter preset and FX to the layers. Let's use Cousin Rotate. Let's click apply and change intensity 10. Let's see. Okay, nice. And select purple. Let's press S, go to here and create scale G frame. Go to back, click this icon and change scale 0. Make two frames easy. Go to graph editor and make smooth graph. Back to two frames and select product. Let's move to right and back to browse. Open to the layers and select this product 3. Let's use overshot scale. Click in. And select this mark. Move to right for slow animation. Nice, let's close back to conversation 
and moved it down. Okay, that's good. And let's click this icon for take snapshot. Okay, and let's open product three. So let's back to this conversation one and select these layers. Let's copy back to product three and let's first select region of interest and crop comp region of interest here and let's control V for paste select this layer 1, 2, 3, 4 and delete and select this layer let's create null object and select these layers link to null object, select null, press S and change scale and put here, let's see nice and delete null, select pink background, press S, click this icon, create scale chip frame, back to first second and change zero. And make chip frames easy. Change graph. Okay, select last chip frame, move to left. So let's close conversations and let's see. Okay, let's select product three. Move to right. Okay, so select this product 4. Select this product 2 layer. Use overshot scale. Move to right, mark. And move to right layer. Select pink background. Go to first second, press S, click this icon, change scale 0. Make scale chip frame and go to here, change 100. Make chip frames easy. Go to graph editor and create smooth animation back to two frames and let's use rotate animation for product 2 click apply and change in test 10 nice close conversation let's open product 5 again let's go to region of interest icon select region like this and come session crop come to region of interest so back to main come session let's open product 3 and select these layers let's copy close come session select these products delete and control v okay and let's create new null object select all these layers link to null select null press s chain scale and move to here Close conversation. Okay. And select white background. Press S. Click this icon. Make scale Q frame. Go to back. Change scale 0. Again, make Q frames easy. Go to graph editor. Make smooth graph. So close conversation and open less one conversation. Let's put here and open product 6 and select region of interest again. Go to com session and crop region of interest. Select product 1, use overshot scale and rotate. Click apply, change intensity 10 and move to right this mark, move to right layer. Select product, press S and click this icon go to here create scale q frame go to back change zero and make q frames easy go to graph editor make smooth animation okay so close conversation and let's see let's move to here and let's click this icon for show snapshot so in this same select these conversations and make random animation like this let's preview okay so in this time select these products and press p make new pass in q frame and go to one second and select these conversations let's change all positions like this and this okay so go to again one second and select products Let's move to center 
and this also this and select two frames make easy or click f9 and select work area let's see so go to graph editor select this middle two frame move to left and this move to right okay back to two frames select this last two frame move to left and these two frames move to the left. Okay, so in this time, let's select last two frame again. A little bit move to the left. Okay, so in this time, let's select this card one. Let's enable and card two. And back to again animation upset three. And select these two cards. Select overshot scale and click in. And move to right. Let's move to right card two. And marks. Let's see. Okay, let's see timing. Move to left. In this time, select these compensations and go to edit, split layer, or control shift D and delete. Okay, that's good. So, back to animation comes S3. And let's open here start starter precoms, shape elements, and let's use particle fireworks. Click add. And move to here. Let's see. Move to right a little bit. Okay, let's move to left and control D. For duplicate, move to right. Again, control D, move to left. Let's see. Nice. So, back to animation comes S3 and go to browse. And in this time, let's take these two card layers. Let, let's use this effect and click apply. Okay, change 10 in test. Let's see. nice so in this time select these card layers let's press p make new person q frames go to 10 q frames and first select this card one let's move that up and go to layer new and create new object hold control double click pen behind icon for move the anchor point center clearization tool and go to align click this and this icon select this card one card two link to null object select null and let's press s let's create new scale two frame go to here and change scales let's see okay select this card one move to up and card two also move to up and go to change two frames move to down and this move to down select two frames make easy go to graph editor and let's create failing animation select middle two frame move to left and this move to right let's select work area okay so back to two frames and let's see select scale two frames make easy and move to right Okay, select sketch two frames, go to graph editor and make graph like this. Back to two frames and right now select these GIF layers, GIF1, let's enable, go to solo and move the anchor point down and move to right this layer, move to down and go to anim animation comes as three. Let's use overshot scale, click in let's see okay select this gif 3 go to solo and gif 1 let's go to solo select these layers move to right and gif 2 let's move to down anchor point and gif 3 move to down anchor point also and go to animation comes 3 select these gif 3 and 2 
Let's use our overshot scale again. Click in and close window. Okay, let's see. Select work area. Select these marks, move to right for slow animation. Okay, so let's unsolo. Select these G flares. And right now, let's move to left. Okay, select these cards. Go to edit and split layer delete. Okay, so in this time, select this card one. And here, let's move to left. Let's position two frame. And move to right change graph and go to pen tool with change for smooth animation okay and select this card two move to left last position Q frame and move to left change graph Okay, that's good. And move to the left this GIF. So, select these three passing two frames. Right mouse, two frame interpolation. Change current settings to linear. Click OK. OK, pretty good. And select these particle fireworks. Control D for duplicate. Move to up. And move to here. Okay, let's move the center like this and go to FX Presets, search FX Fill. Use Fill for Particle Fireworks. Change colors white and copy Fill. Select these fireworks. Let's see timing. Okay. Nice. So guys, thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like video and please follow me on Instagram. Good luck.